be showing you how you can use C++ in Swift. So obviously the first thing we're going to need is an Xcode project, more specifically a Swift Xcode project, or in this case an iOS app. So I'll just go ahead and name this uh, C++ in Swift, and more specifically for me, uh, Swift UI. You, can, you don't have to be using Swift UI. And then the interface, uh, Swift UI, UI Kit, App Delegate. These don't really matter. Uh, it's kind of all up to whatever you're using in your project. This is just kind of what I'm more comfortable with. So the the important the important part is that we have a Swift project active. Okay, so here's our Swift project. Here's our content view. Uh, pretty standard stuff in here. Not really much going on. And of course, if we ran this, we would just see a, a nice little hello world on the screen. So the first step to using C++ in Swift is to actually have some C++ code that we want to run. So we need to go ahead and add a C++ file to our project. We'll call this main and make sure you also have a header file in there. Then you click next, make sure the target is your app name, just like this. And then when you create it, uh, the very important step is that you actually create a bridging header as well. So now you can see that we actually have three new C++ files, uh, or three new files in our Swift project. So we have our main.cpp, uh, we have our main.hvp, and we have, most importantly, our bridging header. So the first thing that we actually want to do is we want to rename main.h to main, or main.hvp to main.h. The reason we want to do this is because, essentially, in order to be able to use C++ in Swift, what we have to do is we have to kind of trick Swift to think that we're actually using C uh, when we're actually going to be using C++ functions. So uh, the reason that we have to do that is because Swift does not actually have direct interoperability or compatibility with C++, but it does have direct interoperability with C. And the way we can do this is, uh, once again, we rename our, our header file to, to be a C header file. And then we can come in here and we can say if def C++. Then we say extern C and open curly brace and then an end if. And then we say the same thing down here for the cur closing curly brace. If def C++. And then another end if. And then anything that is within these two curly braces uh, these are going to be your 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 C++ function definitions. And the, the trick uh, to these is that we have to have C return types. Because remember, with anything within this extern uh, C curly braces, Swift is going to think that anything in here uh, is, is actually uh, uh, C functions when they're really going to be C++ functions. So within our C++ functions, we'll be able to use any sort of uh, uh, any, anything in C++ that we would like to, but uh, the important the, the important feature is that our return types and the function parameters are all all going to have to be compatible with C. So, for example, we have to you know return integers or char pointers rather than uh, SCD string or anything that is just C++ specific. Um, so, so that's that's something that you just have to keep in mind. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and, and do an example, I suppose. So uh, let's go ahead and return, uh, we'll return a const char pointer, which is just, uh, if you're not familiar, it's just a, a string or uh, uh, an array of characters in, in C. We'll go ahead and call this function test, and we won't take anything in. And that'll be that'll be it for this, this header file. So obviously we have to come into main.cvp, We'll change our include to be main.h, and we'll go ahead and define our test function. So we'll just return uh, hello from C++. And that, uh, that should be fine right there. So make sure to save your main.cpp, your main.h files. And then the next step is we need to actually go into our bridging header 
And all we have to do is include main.h. And then we'll have access to our any functions that were defined in main.h in Swift available to use immediately. So we can go back to our content view. And we can change this hello world to say, uh, whoops, we can do this. So since we return a C string, what we want to do is just exactly this right here. And then if we go ahead and build our project, Undefined symbol uh, looks like might uh... there we go. Um, we actually need uh, uh, two underlines there in order to be able to extern C correctly. So all this is doing is is detecting if. Uh, uh, this is C++ code, and if it is, then it will uh, it'll change it to, to, to essentially think that it's that it's C code. So here we go, uh, our app built successfully, hello from C++, and there you have it, we actually, uh, this is, this code is returning from C++, and we're able to use it directly in Swift, so I think that's pretty, pretty darn cool. Um, Pretty simple functionality, obviously here, not not too advanced, but I think it should be enough to to get you started. And I think uh, you, you'll probably have the idea of what to do from here if you have some experience with C and C plus plus. If you don't, and you're kind of more curious on uh, on on C plus plus interoperability with Swift through a C bridging header, then uh, stay tuned for some future tutorials. This will be part of a little series that I'll do uh, so that you can have a better idea of how to interact with C++ through C uh, in your Swift app, because I don't see a whole lot of tutorials out there actually explaining how to do this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like it and comment uh, if you have any questions and anything like that, and subscribe if you, are, uh, if you want to stay tuned for some more content in the future. So uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.